Uh, well, that was, uh, that was, that was weird. That was weird. Guys, how is everybody doing? Continuing on with the, the Silent Night, Deadly Night series. For some reason, I was at Friday the 13th. Here are my thoughts on Silent Night, Deadly Night 5, The Toy Maker. Mm. Up with my positives is that I do really like the kills in this movie to where they're very creative. It does, like, kind of match the title, uh, The Toy Maker, to where almost all the kills in this movie have to evolve with, like, kind of like messed up toys to where like the beginning of the movie especially where there's like this like this round santa ball and then it like grows arms and legs and then it like strangles a dad and has him fall on like a fire poker that was a really creative kill i think what might have been my favorite uh kill in this movie might have been uh this guy uh he's a he owns an apartment and stuff like that I forget what that's called i think it's, it's not a retailer i don't think but to where he has, like, this toy bug, and then he, like, goes in his mouth and, like, kind of strangles him to death in a way. But it doesn't end there to where his eyes get sucked uh, sucked back, and then there's a huge car explosion after that. That was a badass uh, kill there. The rest of the kills are not bad, but kind of generic, like, where we find out that one of the villains of this movie kind of just died off screen, which is kind of a disappointment. Some other kills were pretty good, like the car kill in this movie. All in all, the kills were creative, and it matched the title of the film. Speaking of matching the title of the movie, is the killer toys themselves. I think they're very creative, and it kind of fits the Christmas season of the film. I like. I kind of had an issue with Silent Night, Deadly Night 4 initiation, to where it didn't feel like a Christmas movie. It more just felt like a weird Rosemary's Baby type spin-off, sequel, rip-off type film. But this film actually kind of uh, feels like a Christmas movie where you have killer toys and stuff like that. And I like the killer toys in this movie. Makes it feel like a Christmas movie and it makes it feel creative to where they, to where when you're watching the movie and you're like, you kind of seem like they had fun making this movie with their killer toys. Some of them are pretty goofy, mainly the roller skate one. That one was kind of weird. But, all in all, I think the design of the killer toys and the toys themselves were creative, and they had a cool imagination there. On to my mixed aspects, and this is a, this is one of the running things of this franchise. That's the characters. Um, they're nothing to write home about. They're fine. I don't hate them at all. They're just... some. There's some of them that are interesting, mainly the, the dad of the film, to where you find out that his girlfriend or wife maybe left him because she felt he wasn't fit to be a dad at the time but then he grew mature and he starts like and he kind of like stalks them which is weird then you find out he's the actual dad of this child that we've been seeing throughout the entire movie his character is somewhat interesting i think i kind of just more felt bad for the guy that he didn't get to actually meet his child and the movie kind of builds him up as like one of the guys behind like the toy making and the killer toys and all that along with Joe Petto and uh Pinso Pino I think it was Pino yeah Pino I, Pinso Jesus Pino stuff like that you think he kind of works for them but he doesn't and he's the dad of the he's the dad of the kid that we've been following speaking of the kid I didn't really care for him he doesn't have much to do the acting by the kid um, he doesn't even have much lines, he just sits there and looks depressed, which makes sense because his real dad, well, no, well, his dad had just got strangled to death by a toy and he witnessed it. I would kind of be in the same situation to where I wouldn't want to talk to anybody and I felt bad for him. But I wish they did more with him to decide to make him look stand off to the side and make him look sad and depressed. I wish they did more with him with that. The rest of the characters, they're fine. Pino was weird. Yeah. And uh, Joe Petto, he doesn't have much to do. He's old and crazy, I guess. And then the mom, I f she's fine. Again, these characters, they're just fine, and some of them are kind of forgettable. The next mixed aspects is another thing that is a running thing in this entire franchise, and that's the acting. Acting, it is better than 2 through 4, I will admit that, because I, I felt the acting in 2... We all know why the acting in that movie is bad. Three, uh, four, I, it was fine, but it still wasn't great. But this film, it was 
better, I guess, but it's still not saying much because the acting in this franchise is all over the place and it's and it's not nothing to really write home about. But especially when you binge watch the franchise and you watch like 2 and 3 and you compare the acting to that, the acting in this movie does look good compared to those two, but if you just were to watch this movie just for fun, basically... The acting would seem mediocre, but since I'm binge-watching the franchise, it, the acting was okay. One of my negatives, this is a question I really want to ask. Now, is this supposed to be a sequel to Initiation? Because there's occurring things there. Because you got Brian Usna coming back, who didn't, but uh, who directed and wrote uh, Initiation. He came back to write and produce this film. And then the person, then the main character from Initiation, comes back as one of the friends of the mom in this film. Not believe the things that I've been through. Hardly believe them myself. And Brian Usna's son, who was in four, who was about to be sacrificed by the witches at the end of the fourth film, comes back in this film. And then you also got, uh, you also got Ricky, the homeless guy in uh initiation he comes back in this film for like a brief second and they even say his name ricky in the film and it's like is this a sequel to four or is this a standalone film because with the ricky thing about it because we watched ricky die at the end of initiation but i guess you could say this is a sequel to four but at the same time it doesn't really come out and say that it is and it has me asking the question, is it or isn't it? Because that's a question I'm kind of, I was asking myself throughout the entire film. Because it could be, but at the same time you're like, is it though? I don't know. It's a weird question. And I don't know if it was intended to be. I don't know if they just brought back the, some of those characters back just because they had a low budget. But I don't know. Uh this is a big thing that really was weird in this film. This movie's weird. Um, Pino. Uh, and at the end of the film, he wants the mother of the film to, to where he says that he's her, his mother and he's a robot. And, uh, I don't understand because he's a robot. She can't be your mom. And, uh, it's, uh, leads to awkward things. Mommy, I love you! I love you! Yeah. Now, my next negative, um, this movie's fucking weird. <laughs> this movie's weird. Um, to where, like I said with the dad earlier, where they kind of play him off as, like, a villain of the film. Uh, there's like really weird things to where he gives like his manage like he gives like the guy that his the guy that he owes rent to I forget his name. Um, he gives him a bug toy that ends up killing him later, and he goes, "Oh, is this a good? Is this a, is does it work? Is this a good toy?" And the guy and he literally says, "Oh, it's to die for," and and because of that line, and you're like, he's probably a killer. And then later on, it's like, "Oh no, I'm a good guy, and I just killed this guy on accident." And then you got the Pino and Joe Petto shit going on, and it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it makes you also ask, like, weird-ass questions, and to where you're sitting there, you're asking questions, and then you're, like, sitting there, and you're asking questions, and then it, like, tries to give you information, and you're sitting there like, you know what? I'm good. I don't want to know anymore. And, uh, I mean, this movie's weirder than this. Carpet day! No. <laughs> yeah, it's weirder than that. I know, right? And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, there's like weird ass shit going on in this movie too. There's like a point where uh, Pino uh, touches his adoptive mother. Mommy, I love you. I love you. Mother. And it's like. Why? Uh, what the fuck? Uh. My final negative, and if you had anything, you could say all oh, these are nitpicks because this movie's fucking weird. This movie's unintentionally funny. To where I'm sitting there the entire fucking time watching this movie and I'm laughing my ass off because it's so stupid. 
<laughs> it's mainly because of the acting, really. Um, um, this movie's fucking funny. <laughs> and I, I don't know if this movie was played off to be like that, or it was made to be a seriously film, but I could not stop fucking laughing throughout this entire film, and it was fucking funny. But where I'm sitting there, and I'm laughing, and I'm laughing, and I'm like, oh, yeah, wait, this movie's supposed to be serious? Oh, well, what the fuck? I don't know, this movie was weird as shit, and it was also fucking hilarious. All in all, guys, this movie is okay. The movie's unintentionally funny, and it's also just really, really weird. But I kind of dig it. I preferred Over Initiation a lot more because it felt more like a Silent Night, Deadly Night film. Kind of. But I would rather we watch this film Over Initiation because it doesn't involve bugs. But all in all, the movie's fine. Maybe if you want to see something refreshing and new for this series and see something that's batshit crazy and weird, Maybe give this movie a shot, but this is a film I would recommend to very few people. But all in all, I would say go ahead and stream the film. What do you guys think about Silent Night, Deadly Night 5, The Toy Maker? Have you seen it? What do you think about it? Do you like this film? Do you not like this film? Let me know in the comments below and we will talk about it. If you like this video, like it. If you love to subscribe with the bell notification so you will get notified for my latest videos. And of course, until my next video, I'll see you all next time.